Hello everyone. Um, I'm here to touch base with you guys again through the YouTube system. Uh, this is another video in regards to racism or even psychological warfare or uh, provocation, harassment by people who are against a system, against a group of race or people or even a culture that is the primary or should be the primary or the native culture of the place that you're at geographically or culturally. I want to touch base on um, psychology. Psychology was started by Karl Marx, a Marxist, a communist from Austria. His ideas were that the cosmos or the universe was not necessarily created by God or cannot be proven that it was created by God or a paganistic system where if I can't eat the person next to me shouldn't be able to eat if I don't have clothes or just this, a tank top my neighbor there who lives next to me or a neighbor who lives across the street shouldn't have clothes either how unlogical and how disgraceful and how paganistic and how evil a system where if I go through hardship if I go through sin if I get shot if I do something wrong so I get punished everybody else should be punished this system of communism brought by Yiddish people, Yiddish Caucasians, who migrated from Israel to Austria, Germany, Holland, France, even parts of Italy, and was taken over by the Roman Empire during the times of Christ, before Christ or BC, or the times of Moses, or the prophet Moses, in their Yiddish religion. But anyways, this Jewish or Yiddish population came into, I guess, Europe because they felt that in Europe there's more economic vitality, there's more things to be gained by migrating to another country, and they could get economic solace and build uh, money, profit. Besides, rather than being in their country that they were supposedly from, uh, Israel where the Palestinians and the Yiddish Caucasian have been warring since the times of the Bible during the, uh, before Christ and it still goes on in 2014 well this Yiddish culture invented this system called psychology and it was by Wundt, Freud, Sigmund Freud who claimed that every illness, psychosomatic illness from the brain was caused by a sexual endeavor sexual intention that the reason a person is ill or has psychosomatic illnesses whether it's um, epileptic seizures schizophrenia delusional grandeur pompous arrogance ego everything has to do with some sort of sexual underlying tone um, I live with my mother I live with my grandmother I live with a female I live with my sister and I want to go to bed with them or have sexual intentions with my family members. This is pure evil and this is sadistic and this is what psychology preached for a very long time. Sigmund Freud, uh, Wundt, Karl Marx and because of this the Germans who were bombarded by these Yiddish people decided you know what these people are no good. They're preaching lies through psychology so what we're going to do is burn their books so during the times of the Nazi Empire World War I, World War II Otto von Bismarck first, second and then Adolf Hitler uh, who many claim it was an angel sent from God using a swastika that is originated from India East Asia, Central Asia as a unification tool to unite all of Europe and Europe is still that way a very united adult Europe uh, federation and they're very proud of that but anyway this Yiddish people with these false or satanic ideas felt they could get into people's heads through the television media through the media television media like Howard Stern through the radio 
through books preaching psychology. And the United States is also, in some ways, uh, have been affected by this, by this Yiddish psychology. So the Confederate people, people who grew up in a Confederate America before the Civil War, or after the Civil War, said to themselves, this Yiddish government, or this Yiddish people, Caucasian people, who were migrated to America after America saved them from the gas chambers, from Nazism, um, whether it's Anne Frank or other Yiddish people who were saved, were <coughs> somehow migrated to America. They changed their names, or they changed their names frequently. Uh, this Yiddish Caucasian people. <coughs> so the Confederate flag says the media, television media, is run by much of the Yiddish people who claim that this is this way, or we got to have it this way. We are communists. Marxism comes from Yiddish Caucasians. Stalinism comes from Yiddish Caucasians. Psychology comes from Yiddish Caucasians. And people who are not geniuses. Um, Albert Einstein got an F in geometry, Alpha in algebra, I believe. And he was not a genius. And he copied a German scientist to propagate the time travel or the formula of E equals MC squared. So he was not a genius. But this Yiddish people, against Protestant, against Dianetic Scientology, against uh, human intelligence and common sense, preaches psychological warfare or psychology either through the television media that you might watch uh, recently or through the government, U.S. government. So, um, you know, I hope you're not a victim of Yiddish psychology. I hope you understand it is fallacy. Want Sigmund Freud, uh, Karl Marx. Uh, many of their ideas are outdated. It's insanity to treat people like animals, to do tests, to do shock treatment, to do brain surgery on people to get them spiritually better. So um, I, I'm warning you people to avoid psychology. I've studied it all my life. I've studied. Uh, philosophy, psychology, theology, religion, and uh, to me, psychology is very primitive. It's a primitive form to manipulate people. Even hypnotism. I've studied hypnotism, and I know how hypnotism works. So, I just want to warn people, do not be a victim of hypnotism. Do not be a victim of psychology through the television media, or through radio, or through any magazines, or any advertisement. And I, um, just hope you will be fine, hope you'll do well, and hope you make comments on my video as well if you understand this, and hope you uh, read about God, about Allah or the gods, and understand to fear God, and to understand God is good, and God will not tolerate evil, or liars, or people who are unrepenting sinners. So um, I will touch you base on, the, on my next video. In regards to um, the videos I've already posted. In this video, like I said, I wanted to touch base on psychology and the foundations of psychology, which is, has no validity or, or really any truth to it. It just seems like it's kind of one-sided. And the people who claim to change psychology, the psychologists and psychiatrists, don't really help their patients. They're just somebody to listen to. They'll listen to you and charge you money. So that's not a friend. That's just somebody trying to make a profit. So anyways, um, I'll touch base with you on, on my next video and uh, mahalo and hope you stay intelligent, wise, and virtuous and honorable to yourself and to your family and to your ohana and to uh, society, civilization. Um, goodbye.